Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Mike Morata's here. It's got to be a special occasion if he's joined us at City Hall. So last October, we launched the Knock the Let Out campaign. And that was to inform residents of potential lead in their pipes. And we partnered with Passaic Valley Water Commission. And we're proud of the fact that we were able to get the word out to a significant number of individuals about the risk of lead in their homes. And this knocking the lead out campaign had us dispatch inspectors into these homes to inform our residents and to make sure that we could check their pipes. Now, today's announcement is significant because to have your pipes removed, replaced, would cost thousands of dollars. But it's everyone's favorite word. It's free. And so we will update you as the program progresses. But today we're proud to be joined by our partners at Passaic Valley Water Commission. And so today we have with us the executive director, Jim Muller, who is going to elaborate further on what this free, I want to emphasize free, initiative entails. Jim Muller, please. You can applaud PBWC. <laughs> <Come on. laughs> Especially Mike. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, thanks for having us here today to talk about this very important program. I appreciate uh, department heads from PBWC and our partners at CDM Smith to be here, as well as Councilman Velez, who will speak after me. We are all here today because we care about the community and we care about the quality of the water they drink. As we all know, lead is bad, and any exposure to lead is not considered safe. While there is no lead in PVWC's source water, there is lead in some of the pipes in the system through which that water is conveyed. It's commonly found in plumbing material uh, in older homes. Today I'm happy to announce we're kicking off a contract to replace 6,500 lead service lines, almost half of which are located in the city of Patterson. So we're proud to be here today with Mayor Saya and Councilman Velez. <laughs> to kick this program off. The, the key to this program is going to be accessing those homes, as the mayor already mentioned, and gaining the rights of entry. We plan to send representatives from CDM Smith and our contractor Pacific Construction out to do inspections on lines where we're not sure of the material to confirm whether there's lead or not, and for lines where we know there is lead to remove those lines from the house. To do that, we need a right of entry to the house, and our representatives will be going to each house uh, of concern and getting that right of entry or presenting that form to be signed by the residents. In terms of security, we're very, we're very aware of that, so all of our representatives are undergoing thorough background checks. We'll have identifying ID badges, hats, and vests for clear identification. In addition, we are providing the names of those people to Mayor Say and his team, as well as those of the teams of the other owner cities, and so they're aware of where we will be and who will be there in case there's any concerns or issues that arise. I will now turn it back over to, well, no, I'll turn it over to Councilman Velez. Uh, I'll, I'll turn it over to Mayor Say. I build it up a little bit. Thank no. you. Let's have another round of applause for our executive director. We've just been, <laughs> you want me to go first? Yeah. We've been just, we've just been joined. She's always on time, even when she's late. The former mayor, current councilwoman of the fourth ward and Passaic Valley Water Commissioner, Ruby N. Cotton. Thank you. First, let me say thank you, Mayor. Um, I just want to also say to you, thank you for putting me on uh, the Sake Valley Water Board. Um, having experience with the water industry, um, Mayor, it was an excellent choice. I have to say that. But, <laughs> but I just want to say that I am so happy that we're finally able to get these lead lines done in our city, um, our three cities, Patterson, Clifton, and Passaic. Um, to make sure that we have safe drinking water. Um, and that's the top of our list to make sure that our priorities is that to make sure that our water is always safe to be drinking. Uh, and we have been doing an excellent job with our new executive director that mm -hmm. yeah. we have put there, Mr. Muller. I'm happy that you're on board with us. I'm happy that we're able to say we're all three cities together. We're working all together to make sure that throughout the, the three cities, and Prospect Park, I believe, 
that we are going to have. Um, we should be starting pretty soon, but Mayor, I just would like to say that sometimes um, people are very reluctant to open up their doors. Right. So I would like to do a, a public service announcement uh, on our cable channel so people can see that I, Councilwoman Cotton, is on board with this lead line replacement that we're doing because I find that when they see someone that they know, they will then realize that they will open up their doors because first thing they think is that, oh, this can't be free. Uh, it is free to replace all our lines in our cities that, are, that have lead. Some homes do not have lead lines, but those that do have it, we want to make sure that those lines are getting replaced. And I look forward to getting started, and I believe we're going to be getting started soon. So let's make sure, Mayor, um, that we do that public service announcement. And I'm also have to be joined by my councilman um, in the fifth ward, Louis Velez. Um, with his help, we were able to get the resolution passed to make it a lot easier for us to get into the homes to be ordered to, to, to change these lines. So, Councilman Velez, thank you uh, so for supporting that resolution that came before us for the city. So I'm happy that we're doing this today. Um, it's, a, it's, it's what we need, and we have, we've been needing this for a long time now. I'm so happy that the federal government understands some of the things that they need to do for our community, for our states, for our city. So with that being said, thank you, Mayor. Thank you, Jim Muller, for coming on board. I'm looking forward to working with you um, with any projects that we got coming through here. So once again, thank you to everyone. God bless you all. Thank you. All right. And so the aforementioned councilman from the uh -huh. fifth ward and our councilman from the fourth ward, they were a part of this initiative to make sure that individuals know we will remove your lead and it is going to be for free. Yes. See, Pastor Givens, thank you, Pastor John Givens from Faith Based Community. Give him a round of applause joining yes. us. Yes. Knocking, we're knocking the lead out and it's for free. Oh, right, yes. So at this time, I want to hear from the chairman of the Public, Public Works Committee, right. the fifth ward, Louis A. Velez. I, I, he's, he's not going to ask me what the A stand for, but today I'm going to say how. What, where is that? What for? is it? In Action. Spanish, agua. <laughs> oh, no. Clever. You got that. See, Mayor, I had, I, had to be, I had to be somebody in the menu, though, but that's okay. So, first of all, I'm happy that uh, not only this administration, also the agency that serve our community are thinking in our community. Passaic Valley Water Commission and those that are involved on it are thinking that we are a distressed city yeah. in a lot of aspects, but when this type of program comes to our city, the first thing the taxpayer says, who's gonna pay for it? Right. We are going to hardship. I cannot even pay my warriors or whatever, right? They come with all the excuses. And when this came into our committee, yes. the EPW committee, um, I, we look at it and we say, hold on, we need to move forward. First, because there's a lot of, a lot of number of reasons our kids has disability learning is because lead in different aspects, in different sources. So we want to make sure that our children could play and, and with water without harming lead on, on the body. So I think, I, I'm not taking your position, but that's, that's what I heard <laughs> yesterday, but that's okay. But it's important that we, we cooperate. The residents of Patterson had to understand this is gonna be free. Yes. And let yeah. me say something. We have 23,000 plus properties in our city, okay? 6,500, for me, yeah. is nothing, right? But for those people out there drinking water, taking a shower, cooking with water, is something big. So you need to cooperate. Yes. Why you need to cooperate? Because if you drink water that's healthy, you're gonna have healthy minds, healthy bodies, and you're gonna have something that you don't want to spend is money in those lines so 6500 he stated they already identified 
They're going to visit those places. They're going to knock your door gentle. They're not going to go an hours that you're not welcome to come. So they know the rules. So you need to cooperate. You need to make sure that the faster we do this, the faster we're going to have our street paved, the faster is the, the city going to be better. So we don't want to make the news in the negative part because if we don't cooperate, that's what's going to happen. One thing I'm going to highlight that you say is that the Sake Valley Water Commission in their plans do not have lead. That's a good thing. Right. That means the water comes clean, yeah. without bacteria, without lead. That's a good thing. I trust in that water coming from my, from my um, key in my house. Mm -hmm. But this city is so old that those lines yes. need to be replaced. Yes. So cooperate, and you are going to guarantee you that we're going to be watching that that job is going to be done the right way yes. for your benefit. Yes. So I, don't, I know we don't have a lot of people with media Spanish here, but they're watching right now. Sí. Thank you to those watching Spanish. Dama caballero, lo que estamos haciendo hoy es anunciando que el programa de reemplazar las tuberías que tienen plomo en su casa será totalmente gratis. 6,500 tuberías fueron identificadas en la ciudad de Patterson, en la cual el programa va a cambiarla totalmente gratis en su casa. Si usted es una de esas propiedades que van a tocar a su puerta, van a ir identificados con gorro y chaleco de Pase Water Water Commission, va a preguntarle cuál es el día que usted va a estar disponible para hacer ese trabajo. Es totalmente gratis y no va a costar nada para usted. Lo único que usted tiene que hacer es cooperar para que se haga el trabajo rápido y nuestra carretera esté pavimentada a tiempo y usted tenga la calidad de agua que usted necesita y sus hijos necesitan. Recuerde que la salud viene por el agua, pero usted tiene que dejar que el agua clara llegue a su casa. Muchas gracias. Dios me lo bendiga. Thank you. Thank you. And finally, I recognize them earlier representing our faith-based community is Pastor John Givens. We ask him to say a few words, please, Pastor. Round of applause. <laughs> good morning, good morning to everyone, and thank you, thank you, Mayor. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, from the faith-based community of the Pastor Patterson United Pastors Council, on our faith-based behalf, we want to say congratulations uh, for this project and this repair, needed repair here in our city. Uh, and also being the former Youth Service Commission with the youth uh, for Passaic County for the past 12, 15 years, we saw the need and believe that with all the youth with <coughs> mental issues uh, 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 and and, and other medical situation has a direct with the lead in our water. God has answered our prayer that we can solve this problem and can solve, help the future generation of our youth. We welcome you and thank you. God bless. Thank you. Thank you, Pastor. So we're really encouraged by this lead replacement, this lead line replacement program and we're profoundly grateful to our partners at Passaic Valley Water Commission. Yeah. Like I stated before, we launched the knock, the yeah. lead out program, got the word out, got inspectors out, but now the real work begins and we will be removing thousands, over 6,000 lines, yeah. replacing them, and it'll cost mm -hmm. zero to our residents. Thank you for joining us today. That concludes our press conference. If there are any questions, I yield the floor. Yes, Danny wants uh, Jim. Jim. The question was, what are the issues that lead causes with re repeated exposure over the years? It's, it's, it's issues with the brain, uh, learning, uh, you know, processing, that kind of thing. So it's, it's not good long-term exposure. There's no safe level of exposure. And I, I, I also have to thank, you know, as the mayor pointed out, it's a, a free program to the residents. I have to thank New Jersey DEP and the New Jersey Infrastructure Bank who are providing us a loan. And half of it is in the form of principal forgiveness, which means we don't have to pay it back. 
it's going a long way to fueling the funding for this program. But that's the, the, the mitigation is what you mentioned, that the impacts, the health impacts on folks, um, that's what we're going to mitigate. And you're doing 6,000 right now? How many more do you anticipate doing? 6,500 are in the base contract. About half of them are located in Patterson. The other half are spread across our owner cities in Prospect Park, uh, Passaic and uh, uh, Clifton in Prospect Park. So we're, and we're going to work equally, try to work equally in each city uh, to, to just block by block, you know, get that, get the lead out, as the mayor said. So that's our plan. Say again? How many more? Uh, that would that would basically eliminate the lead that's known. There's another uh, 11 11,000 lines that were unsure of the material. Part of this program is to also inspect those lines. Any found to be lead would be then included into this contract for removal. So we're starting with a base of 6,500, half of which are in the city of Patterson. Another 11,000 we have to inspect. About 2,200 of them are in the city of Patterson, and then there'll be anything found to be lead will be added to this contract for removal uh, by the end. How many of those 2,200 in terms of the unknown that's that's the numbers we have yeah I'll have to get back to I don't have that number off the top of my head but most of them are cleared from lead you know the remaining the remaining ones are are you know just we have to go get them now but I'll, I'll get back to you with the exact number we, the contract is registered. We're, we're moving. Uh, we, we plan to start inspections in Patterson in the next couple of weeks, and replacements should start in September. How long will it take when one goes in the house to actually do what you have to do? So, if all, yeah, so house by house, you're saying specifically for an individual house, once we're there, replacing the line? Yeah, so it should take about a day. All goes well. Sometimes there are issues. There can, there's a lot of things I think we all know with, with homes and our own homes in terms of things that can happen. We are going to be there until it's finished. So we're not, we're not leaving at the end of the day. We're going to stay there. If there's any problems, we're going to fix that. But we would plan to finish each home within the day that we're there and, the, and a block a week. That would be our planned production and we'll adapt as we need to. But we're not going anywhere. As we run into problems, we're going to fix it and uh, make sure that things are put, put in, you know, left in, in a good state. Very good, thank you. Yep, you're welcome. Okay, just Say again? You know, it used to be, the, the estimate, you've, uh, generally the estimate was four to 5,000, just given inflation, as we all know, it's been an extremely inflationary time. It's closer to 10,000 now is the general estimate. Depends on the house, depends on the situation, but that's a general, so it's gone up considerably. So as the mayor pointed out, a free, this free program, again, funded by New Jersey iBank, it's, it's really a huge benefit to the community, the rate payers, everybody. How much of a loan do you have? $36 million loan. Half of which is principal forgiveness, where we don't have to pay it back. Do you want to say? Go ahead. And also, and I believe I, I just want to clear something too. If they go to the property that belongs to you, and you have grass, they're going to put grass back again. So if you have cement, they're going to put back the cement again. A lot of people think that you're just going to open and put the pipe and leave. No. If you had grass, the only thing if you had gold, make sure it's gold, right? But <laughs> it's true. But it's to be in the safe part, a lot of people need this orientation because it, and it's also a process. They open, they had to have a three months of tests to make sure everything's fine, then come back and finish with the details of how it was before. And some of those sidewalks need repair, so probably they're going to be taking advantage of, of getting that line replaced. So I, I have heard everything out there. So uh, la gente que escuchan allá afuera, es importante que sepan que si usted tiene su casa con cemento al frente o con grama o como estaba, se lo van a dejar igual. Y muchas de estas propiedades a veces no las tienen en un calidad, pero se la van a dejar con mucha calidad. Yeah. Let me just add, if I can, Mayor. Yeah, yeah. Um, let me just add that also you could go on the website for Passaic Valley Water um, to check to see if your line has led. Um, the, the system is already set up for them to check to see if your house number has led line going. If, if not, then you're lucky that you don't have to have your lines replaced. So please go on the website for Passaic Valley Water, uh, put, put in your address and you can see whether your house that you in. And with the passing of this resolution, it helps us to get into the homes quick, better, quicker, um, without the landlord owner 
because uh, sometimes you find that owners do not respond back as long as the tenants are there and the tenants are now allowed to let us to come into their home. So that's really, really important. Thank you. And this is primarily for uh -huh. homes that were built prior to 1978. So these are older homes that we have here as far as the housing stock is concerned. Eddie, thanks for joining us. Eddie Gonzalez, yeah, I know you weren't born yet and the Cubs didn't win the World Series that year. Neither did the Mets, in all fairness. But nevertheless, procedurally, you, if you're one of those 2,200 homes, can expect a visit because we, we certainly want to allay any concerns anyone may have relative to a stranger showing up at your door. So there is a public awareness campaign prior to having these actual lead lines being removed. If there's someone here from Jim once again so you can just share some contact information. Yes, and as Commissioner Cotton stated, so you can go to www.pvwc.com and you can search up your address if you'd like and you can find out whether you have lead or not. And also if it's unknown material or not, which we'll be inspecting. You can also call 973-340-4300, which is our customer service line. And we'll be happy to answer any questions, concerns, and make sure they're addressed. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jim. That concludes our press conference. Thank you for joining us. Thank you once again, PVWC partners.